Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of April 13th through April 19th, which was just last week. And this plan with me is going to be super exciting because it is going to be a collab with Rachel from Gathered Plans. Rachel has become a really good planner friend of mine and if you guys haven't watched her videos already, you definitely need to because her planning style is so gorgeous and um, just super Super dainty and elegant. I love it so much. And she's also the queen of layering, if you guys don't already know. So definitely make sure you check out her video as well. I'm going to link it down below. And for this collab, we're both going to be using this kit from Chic Chic Designs. And in addition to that, as you can tell from the title, this video is also going to be a giveaway. We're going to be picking two winners, and each person's going to be receiving $20 of shop credit to both Honey Inked and Planner Just For You, which is the shop that carries my my hand lettering stickers um, as seen here so we will be picking one winner from each of our channel and so make sure you check out both our videos um, and in order to enter the giveaway what you're going to do is leave a comment um, on both our videos with what you're looking forward to doing most when COVID-19 is finally over I know we are all looking forward to that day when we can um, you know get back to our regular lives and hopefully have this kind of behind us so yeah just leave a comment with what you're looking forward to and and um, again, make sure you do that for both our channels because you have two chances to win. Um, I will leave all the information down below. If you have more questions, definitely check down there because it might answer some of your questions. Okay, so with all that said, I'm gonna really quickly show you guys what's included in this kit. Here we have the nine full boxes, and this is in a gorgeous gold foiling. We've got some boxes here at the bottom. This next page here has the half boxes, headers, flags, bow checklist, some little hexagon icons, circle icons, and then laptops. The next page here has the sidebar trackers. We have third boxes and quarter boxes, more checklists. Um, these are appointment labels. We have some bill due and payday stickers, uh, more hexagon, which can be used for layering and these little arrows. Um, I have a feeling that Rachel is going to use these beautifully in her spread. And then the last page here is also foiled. So we've got the date covers, bottom washi, and then some, I think these are like foiled headers as you can see so this is such a gorgeous kit the shop is based in india so it did take a while to get to me but her quality is amazing so um, i do recommend her shop um so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in i'm going to place down the bottom washi and then as usual build my spread from there while I'm putting down my bottom washi, I wanted to share with you guys that the owner of Chic Chic Designs had reached out to me and um, she actually offered a coupon code for all of my subscribers and followers. So the code is going to be PlanningPeep15 for 15% 15 off any order, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to leave that down below. I have a little section with coupon codes, so make sure you check there um, if there's anything you're interested in purchasing. So back to my spread. Once I'm done putting down the bottom washi, I go ahead and move to the side bar. For this week, there was no quote box that was included in the kit, so I decided to create one of my own. I decided to choose the quote, there is beauty in simplicity, and um, I wanted something beauty related because as you can tell, um, there's like a lot of makeup in this kit, so I just thought that would be really appropriate. I initially wrote the quote in pencil so I could see um, how to space everything, but I realized that I didn't really have a good eraser, and you can kind of see the eraser marks left behind, so I ended up just deciding to go for it because um, I didn't want to mess up again and then like further ruin that box. The brush lettering pen that I'm using this week is from Pilot and um, I think this paper is a little different from ones I've used in the past. It did kind of dry out my brush lettering pen a bit so it wasn't as easy to write on this paper. So I decided not to use more brush lettering for the rest of my spread. Then um, I decided to use this gold foiled April sticker that's from Artbox Stickers and I put that at the very top of my sidebar. I used a foiled header from the kit and then I pulled in a habit tracker to track my working out. The pen that I'm using this week is the Paper Mate Enjoy Gel Pen in 0.5, so it's the thinner one. And then for my happy moments, I pulled in this appointment label and used a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to add a little shine. And I pulled in the first Monday through Sunday box from the kit. For my dinners, I pulled in a strip of washi and then used another gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts and used the other Monday through Sunday box. 
I filled out those headers and then I go ahead and move on to putting down all my date covers for this week. Um, I actually had a hard time finding date dots for this week because I have so many different sets, but they're all missing like random numbers here and there. So it's really hard to find a complete set for a week that I need. And so I ended up pulling in a couple hearts that were included. These ones are from Simply Watercolor Co. Um, so yeah, I think I had to use two hearts on the 16th and the 18th or something like that. But I figure with the context clues of the other numbers, I can always Always figure out what dates they're for. Moving to Monday, I first placed down a foiled header at the very top, then I decided to try my hand at a little layering, so I used the circle icon from the kit with a laptop sticker to mark that I went back to work on Monday. I'm still working from home because of COVID-19, um, but I did have spring break last week, so this week it was back to work, and it was actually a really, really busy week. I then put down a half box and used a gold foiled pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark a morning meeting that I had. I had to take a picture that day for our psychologist team, and so I decided to use a quarter box with a camera sticker from Happy Sherpa Papery. I placed down a full box at the very bottom and then continued with my day. So first I decided to mark my workout on Monday. I layered a shoe sticker from Hazel sticker on top of that hexagon that came with the kit, and then I also pulled in a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You. I used a gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark the TV show that we watched that night. And then I used a flag sticker from the kit with this gold foiled bow that's also from Chic Chic Designs. I really, really love her gold foiled stickers. And I used that to mark that I did some lettering that night for our planner just for you shop. Moving on to Tuesday, I first started by placing down a to-do header at the very top. Then I used a third box with this laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark a morning training that I had that day. I then put down a foiled header with a three bow checklist. And um, unfortunately, the things I wanted to mark on the checklist were all confidential because they had student names or school names on there. So I'm not able to write it on camera, but um, I did also pull in this gold foiled paper clip sticker and that is from Artbox stickers. I placed down a full box underneath that and then I moved to the bottom and first placed down a half box because I knew I wanted to use that to mark something at the end of the night. In the remaining space, I layered this hexagon icon with a gold foiled bow from Hazel Sticker to mark that I did some tanning outside because it was really sunny that day. And then I used a checkbox from Samantha May Sticks to mark that I went on an evening walk that day. At the end of the night, I did a virtual chat with some of my friends. So I pulled in this girl on the laptop sticker from Paper Bear Co. And I also used this video chat sticker that I lettered and that is from Planner Just For You. Moving on to Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and I think this one is so beautiful with those lipstick and the eyeshadow and everything. It's just so pretty. Then underneath that, I placed down a foiled header with a quarter box, and that laptop sticker, I believe, is from Nicole Hutch Designs. I used that to mark a morning meeting, and then I had a couple other things I had to do for work that day. So I used a work header, and this gold foil three bow checklist is from Chic Blossom Prints. I also pulled in this little phone icon from the kit and underneath that I used a half box to mark my workout on Wednesday. I pulled in another workout time sticker from Planner Just For You and also used a shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop. At the end of the night, I recorded a voiceover so I paired a flag sticker from the kit with this gold foil text sticker from Randy.Plans. On Thursday, I placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I go ahead and move to the top to start the day. So the first thing I placed down is a foiled header. Then I used an arrow sticker from the kit with this Mochi getting pooped on sticker from Mochi Kiji, um, because that's pretty much exactly how I felt on Thursday. Unfortunately, I received an email that was um, quite rude and unprofessional, and um, it was really hard not to take it personally. So it was just kind of a crummy day, but I was able to talk about it with some of my coworkers and process it so that um, you know I was able to move on and not take it so personally. Um, then I used a quarter box with a laptop sticker that came with the kit to mark a training that I had that morning. I had a few other things to do for work that day, so I decided to use a to-do header with another three bow checklist from Chic Blossom Prints to mark that. 
I then placed down a few boxes so I could tell how much space I had left to mark the things I wanted for the rest of the day. Um, it's actually really interesting because I find myself running out of space to mark things during this quarantine period. And I totally thought it would be the other way around where I have way too much space and not enough things to put down. But I think part of it is because I am writing down a lot of what I do at work. And so that does end up taking up quite a bit of space. I wrote in some of the things I could for the checklist and also pulled in this rose gold pen sticker from Little Star Plans. And then on the quarter box, I pulled in a shoe sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I took a walk to the store so I could grab some groceries that we needed. On the half box, I pulled in this gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I watched the Disney family sing along that was on TV. And it was really fun getting to sing along with all of my favorite Disney songs. I am a Disney girl through and through, so it was a really nice way to end a difficult day. On Friday, I first started by placing down a quarter box at the top. I pulled in another laptop sticker from the kit to mark a training I had again that morning. And then I used a hexagon from the kit with this bow sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had a staff meeting afterwards. That afternoon, I had my first virtual IEP meeting, um, so it was definitely quite an experience. Um, initially, I layered that virtual meeting on top of the IEP flag, but I really didn't like how that looked, so I eventually moved it next to it. Um, the IEP flag is from Lily Grove Designs, and that virtual meeting sticker is one that I hand lettered, and it's from Planner Just For You. Underneath that, I pulled in a full box, and this might be one of my favorite ones because that outfit is so cute. It's definitely not what I look like these days with my sweater and my leggings, um, but it's still super cute nonetheless. I then used a foiled header with a quarter box. Um, I think I layered a couple stickers, but one of them is an arrow from the kit, and the other one is a video chat sticker from Planner Just For You. We had a chance to talk to one of our friends that we haven't talked to in a while, um, so it was really nice getting to catch up. I did shift up the stickers a little bit because I realized I didn't have enough space to mark everything I wanted for the rest of the night. I cut a flag sticker out of that washi strip and I pulled in this fortune cookie sticker, I think that's from Mochi Kichi, to mark that we got Panda Express takeout for dinner that night. They were having this amazing family deal where it was like $20 for a ridiculous amount of food. I literally ended up eating Panda Express for like the next four days. Um, that's how much food there was. But um, anyways, I ended up just staying up late that night. So I decided to use this foiled TV icon from Magic Prince Co. For the weekend, I first placed down a couple headers at the top, and then I found this weekend banner in my leftovers collection. I think it came from Paper Rose Planning, but it was so perfect for this kit because that font is so dainty, and I just thought it matched really nicely. For Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the top, then I used a foiled header with this appointment label and this gold foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I made a Dalgona coffee that morning. It turned out super good that day, so I was really excited about it. And then I had kind of a musical session where I played piano and played some guitar. Um, so to mark that, I used a flag from the kit and this Guitar Girl sticker is from Kina Prince. I then went on a run and did an arms workout when I got home, so I decided to put that on a quarter box and the shoe sticker is from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, we watched a movie called Peanut Butter Falcon and it was so sweet and so heartwarming. I loved it so much. Um, I highly recommend it for anyone that is looking for just a feel good movie. Um, I would say definitely check it out if you can. The movie marquee was one I found in my leftovers collection and then the foiled heart is from Clever Gal Crafts. On Sunday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and then moving to the top, I used a foiled header with a quarter box and this little bow icon. I don't really know what shop that's from. I think I got it as a sampler, um, but I used that to mark that my friend and I had kind of a philosophical debate that morning. We just randomly do these every now and then. So I just wanted to note that in my planner. Then underneath that, I used an arrow sticker from the kit and this YouTube binge sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I watch YouTube for quite some time um, because I was just having a super lazy day. Um, my boyfriend made some ramen for lunch, which was delicious. Um, so I used a hexagon icon with a ramen sticker. I think that's from Mochi Kichi. Later that night, we had a virtual game night with some of our friends and we played some really fun new games. Um, I think that board game sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. And then after the game night, I did FaceTime my family. So I decided to put that on the flag and the gold foiled bow sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. 
Last but not least, I go back to my sidebar and track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Uh, my dinners for this week was very uninteresting because I pretty much just ate like meatballs and then Panda Express for the entire week. Um, like I said, it was kind of a hard week getting back to work, so I didn't really have time or like motivation to cook or to try out new recipes. But anyways, I'm just showing you the stickers that I have left in this kit and also doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I had pulled in. As usual, I'm giving you guys a close-up look of the spread so you can see the foil a little bit better as well as some of those details. I feel like I did really well this week with my layering. It's always something that I strive to do because I always think it looks so gorgeous in Rachel's Plan With Me's. And that is pretty much it for this week. Please don't forget about our giveaway. We are super stoked about it because we love both of the shops that are contributing, um, Honey Inked as well as Planner Just For You. Rachel and I are super thankful for these shop owners um, for their kindness and just being so willing to be a part of our giveaway and they each offer some really different stickers i know that honey inked is known for her beautiful foiled um half mandala stickers i think that's what they're called and then planner just for you which is a new shop is one i partner with personally to create my hand lettering stickers so of course i'm super thrilled about that and hope that you guys are excited for a chance to win some shop credit so yeah that is it for today um please check out the description box down below if you want more information on the giveaway and if you have any other questions please feel free to leave them down below and um yeah as always thank you guys so so much for your support make sure you go check out rachel's video as well i got a sneak peek of her spread and it looks so beautiful i'm really really excited to watch her video so hope you guys are too thank you so much for watching for supporting my channel and um i will talk to you guys next time bye